I think young people's role in any any activity that uh, you know serves the nation, uh, young people are capable of 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 uh, taking upon those. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, we need to know too is uh, often we we look at young people as uh, young people that that they are not interested in, in anything that is worthwhile to save the, this country. But, you know, young people coming together and learning from each other and building their capacity and empowering themselves through such a training or same, we, we, we all know that uh, our young people are capable of, of uh, making changes in our country and they are capable of doing it. So um, I think you, I think having young people in Solomon Islands engage in that and also uh, build their capacity to go out and advocate on on the different ways where corruption has happened in Sarlo country, believe me, I think it's very fitting. So um, NYC him him quite, I think him him happy that uh, UNDP him support him that for a uh, program for what the young people believe me for involved inside. The National Youth Council sees this as a tool that is relevant for youth as we approach the national general election next year. Maybe it's, it's, we have learned from, from that kind of advocacy as well that uh, young people are prepared to, to, to go through those trainings at any time. But nevertheless, um, I guess we are heading towards... Um, you know the provincial and the national elections and they are prepared to go out and do civic education on on corruption that happens anywhere from now on until the last night of, uh, before the election so 